guys, how are you? This is Darcel. I have a quick share today. I participated in a tag swap, a summer themed tag swap over at scrapsofcolor.ning.com. And what the premise was, uh, was to create a tag, um, I believe two and three quarters by, I think three and three quarters or something like that. Um, and it had to be summer themed, so it could have been, you know, summer colors, it could have been like patriotic 4th of July, um, anything related to summer. So what I chose to do was um, summer vacation, and um, how I came up with that theme is um, I was just in Michael's one day, and I ran across this paper. This is by Imaginesque, and it's from the open stock at Michael's. and. I saw the paper and the paper was really cute, but then I realized I had a few of those stamps already. So, um, and the, the paper was called or is called On My Way or Going Places or something like that, or maybe Vacation Memories, something like that, but it's definitely related to travel, you know, and vacationing. So, since I had the stamps, uh, well, I had a few of the stamps, and then I think I purchased two more, which I didn't use two of them. I think and um, so I just decided to go with this paper line and so and then I, I covered the back with another piece of paper actually but so let me get straight into it what I have here is again just the paper as the, the background and then I cut this um, this ship here this cruise ship out at two and a half I believe from the summer vacation cartridge as well as this ticket stub from the summer vacation cartridge cricket cartridge excuse me um, and then um, this palm tree is also from the summer vacation uh, cricket cartridge and then um, let's see this this ticket here is cut at one inches and then actually trimmed a little off of each side the top and the bottom because the half an inch was too small but the one inch was too big so I just trimmed a little bit off and I backed it with some red paper um, and I inked the edges with just some red ink that I have in my just some red ink that I have I don't know what bread it is and then this palm tree um, and if anybody knows um, with some of the Cricut cartridges and um, one being the summer vacation cartridge there's just one cut so you have to and my gypsy is not linking to my Cricut for some reason and I had updated and everything so I don't know what's going on but I could not I have I couldn't use the blackout to create um, blackout you know I couldn't use the blackout feature and I couldn't use my gypsy to hide certain things so I ended up having to like stick paper down and cut around it to get these these backgrounds and stuff like that um, as well with the as well well this one you don't this palm tree you actually don't need to to do any hiding but I cut you know I cut the tree twice once in brown and then the other time in green and then you know trimmed off the the, tr the trunk and then you know did it like that because you know with some cartridges there's no layering effect you have to sort of create that yourself so that's kind of what I did with these three cutouts right there and then I inked the edges with some green um, ink and then I also went around these edges if you could see that with some Tim on the um, actual tag itself I went around the edges with some Tim Holtz um, broken china I believe I really like Tim Holtz for inking my edges. I don't, and actually for making certain stamped images too, but I really like that for inking my edges because it really gives you a nice, well for me, it gives me a nice, smooth, even um, finish, and I really like that. So then what I tried to do is, so these stamps here, they're also in the image, in the paper. Let me, let me see if one is right here. Sorry guys, I'm one-handed. I still haven't gotten my, my tripod. I have to order it from Sony though because this is a bloggy camera and, and you, it doesn't take the universal iPod, not iPods. Did I say iPod? No, I think I said tripod. It doesn't take the universal, the universal tripod. So I have to buy a special tripod for this camera. So I'm one-handed right now. So if you see that scooter right there, let me see what else can I find in there. I think that's all that you can kind of see. But that scooter here, so this is the stamp that goes along with that. And I decided to pull, since I bought the stamps, I decided to incorporate those as, you know, little dangles, little charms, and sort of make it a, you know, three-dimensional by bringing those up off the paper. And there's a little luggage right there. And then these glasses here, there are a pair of glasses also in, you know, in the paper as one of the graphics in the paper. So I just use my... Um, 
Forever Young cartridge and I cut these glasses out at one inches okay and then I use craft cardstock for the, the stamped images and I also colored them in with some Copic let me see if I can get this right Co Copic at you speaker markers glitter pens and I really love those things those are so fun so I colored the stamped images in with that and I also kind of took some glitter around the if you yeah you can see it and went around the edge of the glasses to sort of define the glasses a little bit but then also to bring the glitter up on on that area of the glasses and then the summer vacation was cut out using the designers uh, calendar cricket cartridge and I cut the summer vacation at three inches no actually two two and three quarters of an inch actually and that's it that's my tag that I came up with it's my summer theme tag um, what else did I do to it nothing really got some jewel recording um, oh yeah and down here I have just a little piece of trim ribbon to sort of represent the water I guess um, and um, a little bit of blue stickles which this is actually the only card that has stickles I decided not to put the stickles on every tag once you know once I had gotten done I just you know I just said it's I didn't need it so and that's it so this is my very first tag that I've made and my very first ta tag swap so I hope you guys like it um, it was really fun to make um, and I'll be participating in more uh, tag swaps and actually let me bring this one up too because I wanted to show you that not all tags has the scooter because it's too much work to fussy cut it and at the end like I started these a long time ago but then of course towards the end I had to rush and get them together and um, and I just didn't have time to fussy cut this scooter out so really only one tag got the scooter um, and then the other tags got this other stamped image that says road trip and then I inked some of them in um, Tim Holtz vintage not vintage <laughs> that's my favorite ink uh, barn door and some got um, stamped in just regular old black and then I the one the road trip sign I also went around it with some let me see if I can get in there with some some glitter pen it's not really picking up now um, so that's another image but they're all pretty much the same just some varying differences you know just a little bit and then I have them you know in the little baggies and um, and then I just cut out a little tag that says made by me I didn't want to put my name my information on the back of the tag because I think part of the the tags can be used for like gifts or something like that or to put on gifts or something gift bags maybe so I didn't want to have my information on there so I just sort of did this punch out and put my name uh, in the bag so that's it for those actually I have one more share and this is just a card that I made the other day um, I got this very cute line of paper I'm not sure what it's called but it's something to do with recycled paper but I picked it up from Michaels. It was just very cute. I really loved all of the graphics in it. So I picked it up. And um, I was so excited about it that I wanted to make a card. Cards, cause, because cards are, you know, quick, really quick for me to make. And, um, you know, really fun too. And actually this sentiment <laughs> is not supposed to be there. I'm taking that off. I was just seeing how, how it would look there because that's where it's going to go. But um, this card was made with that paper stack. And I'll have a kit available in the shape of a little birdie pretty soon. I'm, I haven't gotten it together yet, but I'm gonna cut everything out and um, I'm gonna make a kit with this awesome paper stack because this paper is just so cute and it has a lot of birds and it's, you know, it has that, that feel of birds and nature and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put a kit together for that. But this card I made, I won't go into the details of that because um, you can kind of see what's on there and you kind of know. And I'll, I'll let you guys know what the name of the um, paper stack is though. But, yeah, so this is a little card I made, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys like my little projects, and um, I shall see you back soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.